A coalition of housing partners, civic leaders, landlords and tenants is urging Duluth leaders to help fund a controversial housing access center. Bryce Henry has all the details. Gary Furstenberg was just one person who spoke at a news conference in favor of funding the Housing Access Center. Before the Access Center closed six years ago, he says he had a situation with a landlord that almost forced him into court. Which would have been an expensive proposition on both sides. So, before it went too far, he asked the Housing Access Center to take a look at the situation. And the thing I like about the, the Housing Access Center was the fact that they didn't take sides. They listened to the landlord and listened to me. And in the end, they were able to avoid going to court. And then they came up with an accord that satisfied both parties. We found a middle ground. And so the situation de-escalated and we moved forward from there. Advocates of the Housing Access Center say the center was key in the original St. Louis County 10-year plan to end homelessness until cuts to the federal housing grants forced it to close in 2009. It will provide a third party this really amazing resource to both the tenants and the landlords so that they understand fair housing law and they understand what a reasonable accommodation is and what laws they do have to follow and what laws they can be protected under. Advocates are now calling on the Duluth City Council and Housing Redevelopment development authority to approve funding for the facility which could be open as soon as the end of the summer. Officials with the Duluth Landlord Association have previously stated their concern that funding for the center could come from fees added onto their rental license. We're concerned that by tacking yet another fee onto the license when we already have a per bedroom fee, a non-conforming parking fee, um, you know, an inspection fee, a license fee, uh, where do the fees stop? Those in support of the HAC say it would make a world of difference for all who need or are providing housing. Preventing evictions is huge. It's a huge step towards ending homelessness and ending the institutionalization of individuals with disabilities. In Duluth, Bryce Henry, KBJR 6 and Range 11. The Duluth City Council is set to vote on providing $40,000 for one year of the program during its meeting tonight. Another 20000 is being requested from the Duluth Housing Redevelopment Authority.